Hey guys, Rob again, and this is uh, the second video. This time I'm actually showing you how to uh, flash the ESC with this USB ASP and the Atmel last socket, which is uh, the device here. So let me just show you the settings in the KK Multicopter Flash Tool. The programmer is the USB ASP, and the port is this one. Okay, same setup here, at Mega 8 based brushless ESC, and we'll come down to file as before, and we'll select BS and FET from the desktop, so that's ready to go. Okay, so what I need to do, what I need to show you is a couple of things on the actual chip. That's the one that I flashed in my previous video with the um, Afro programming tool, and this is another one that I've actually removed the uh, the heat shrink now i just need to get this at the right angle you might be able to see on that that chip just there there's a small circular dot in the top right hand corner as we're looking at it now so just in this corner now that's important because that tells you the orientation of this tool here which is your atmel socket okay you'll see that one of the corners has a red dot so that red dot must go if you can imagine, um, in the same corner as the dot on the chip. So basically that top right hand corner, as we're looking at it, that's the way I've got to hold it on. So you don't actually need to apply power to the um, ESC in this case, because uh, sufficient power comes through this socket to actually program it. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, connect that now. I'm going to be very careful as you put that on. And just remember the little circle is just in that top right hand corner and that's the mark with the uh, the red dot on the program. So we need to just put that on very gently like that and just hold it down there with a bit of pressure. Okay, so you can see that. Now we'll go to the software and I'll just do exactly what I did before. Just hit program and you'll see that it's writing down the bottom. Just keep holding it. Seems to take a little bit longer using this process, but otherwise it's exactly the same. You've just got to be careful not to move the uh, Atmel socket, because I've done it a couple of times. If you just move it slightly and lose connection, the, the flash will fail. Okay, there it goes. It's now reading. Once that's finished reading, it's verified that the flash was successful, you'll get the message. Okay, flashing of firmware was successful. If at any point that goes red, it means it wasn't successful. Okay, so that's good now. So basically, I can remove the socket and it's good to go. That's good to go. What I'll do is I'll show you what happens if something goes wrong. I'm just connecting it again. And let's just try and reflash. And this time, okay, I've started the process. Now what, I've, what I'm doing is I've removed the socket. I've completely taken it off. So let's just see what happens up here. You'll see it'll sort of go through its process, but when it tries to verify, it won't be able to do it successfully. And you'll see everything turns red. So it's still at this stage it looks like it's doing it, but it's not obviously because there's nothing connected to the ESC. Okay, so there it is. So that's failed. No, never fear. What we can do is just do it again. So I'm just going to connect that socket. This time I'll hold it. And we'll just flash once more. Okay. And let it run. Let it run through its process. I'm just holding fairly positive pressure on that chip, not hard, but just enough so that I can assure that it won't move and it uh, won't lose contact. There 
it goes. So that's finished. Thank you. Flashing of firmware was successful. So I hope that helps. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.